today I'm going to show you how I made this Negan's bait from Walking Dead with just a few pieces of cardboard and some easy tools. Let's dive into it. Hey, I'm Raphael. I work in movies, commercial and music videos as a professional steady cam operator. But I also have an unusual skill. I build awesome props from movies like this with just a few pieces of cardboard and some easy tools. I explain to you how to do this with step-by-step -step videos. So if you are new here, consider to subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make Negan's bait out of cardboard, but hey, at any point during the video, check out the show notes and links in the description below. I list all the tools that I've used, as well as some additional resources, and of course, templates for all parts that I've built. Now, let's jump into the video. At first, I started to build the skeleton of the bait. I cut several round pieces of cardboard in different sizes. Don't forget that all the templates are in the description below. Then I cut several rectangular pieces like that and I made a mark on each side on each piece. That will allow you to glue the pieces with precision. Then I cut and glued several pieces of cardboard on each side of each part to reinforce the skeleton. These pieces don't need to be strongly precise. All you have to do is fitting them on your craft. With some hot glue, use the pieces between each element to make your bait right as far as possible. To make the construction solid and resistant, I covered the whole object with a mix of wood glue and water. Of course this step won't make your bait like a piece of wood. You won't be able to play baseball with it, or to crush some head or something. Speaking of crushing head, what do you think about this episode? Well, you know... Personally, I was eating with my girlfriend and we were so shocked that we stopped to eat right away. And how it was for you? I'm really interested to know what did you think about this episode, because, you know... I, I heard that a lot of people stopped to watch this, the show after that, so let me know in the comment section below. I made two layers of it, one with an equal mix of wood glue and water, and the second one with twice as much water as glue. I cut four pieces like that and I shaped the angles. And I glued them on the top of the bait. I reinforced the extremities by putting some hot glue on them. I cut four other parts like that 
and I cut the angles to make shapes like that. I defined the middle and put marks on them. As I did before, I glued one entirely and I cut the others in several parts. Then, as I did before, I coated the piece with a mix of wood glue and water. Then I cut a round piece like that and I smash it entirely. I glued my first piece in the middle. And I shaped the round part in order to cover it entirely. and I smoothed all the angles. Then I started to cover the skeleton, adapting cardboards on it. This part is a little bit tricky to do, because baits are made with a lot of curls, which is difficult to make with cardboards. The idea is to put all separations between cardboards where the curves are the most accentuated, like here, here, or here. and I glued the knob on the skeleton. As usual, I smoothed all the corners and angles using wood glue and a small tool. Don't hesitate to use your finger and a little water that will allow you to smooth the piece finely. Afterward, I covered the handle. Don't pay attention to this, they are just the remaining cardboard from a piece that I tried to glue before, but this one was too short, so I had to remove it. Then I covered the rest of the bait. For the last part, I added two pieces of cardboard like that. In order to keep a straight form.
then I smoothed all the remaining angles. This part is really time consuming. You will have to spend a lot of time to do them, but the more you spend time on it, the more your battery will be cool. Hey, remember, sharing is caring. So if you like this video, can you share this out to someone who will be interested about? And by the way, if you get value out of this, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. To do this, I used cardboard paper. I cut several slices like that. I crushed them to make walls. Then, with an equal mix of wood glue and water, I compressed these pieces to make them solid and rounder. And I twisted them two by two. Then I did the same with smaller pieces of cardboard papers. Then I assembled the pieces to make the barbed wire. To hide the separation between the knob and the bait, I glued a slight piece of cardboard. And I smoothed the angles. Afterward, I drew the logo of the bait. I cut slightly the drawing, but without piercing entirely the cardboard. Then, using a small tool, I widened the openings. Then, with a pencil, I darkened the drawing. Unlike me, do that before gluing the barbed wire. And only then, you can glue the barbed wire. As much as possible, use them to hide the separations between cardboards. I coated the old piece with a mix of water and wood glue. I made two layers of it, one with an equal mix of wood glue and water, and the second one with twice as much water as glue. And the last step that I do on all of my crafts is to coat the object with two layers of varnish. And that's it, you now have Negan's bait. So this is how I built Nikon's bed, Lucille, from Walking Dead. And if you want to learn more about how to build props and stuff from movies like this, with just a few pieces of cardboard, start right now by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it, and I see you in the next video.